Hey, welcome to Inspire TV. I'm Pam Ross. You know, Inspire TV is all about peeking in on the journey of believers who've received and acted on divine inspiration. Hearing from God is one thing, but acting on it is something totally different. So we like to show you what happens along the journey. We're in for a special treat today. I am about to go in and get in the kitchen with celebrity chef Justin Todd Allen. He's known for a lot of things. He's a brand ambassador, he's a business owner, he's a chef, and he's also a motivational speaker. Are you ready to be motivated to eat well and be well? Join me. Welcome to Inspire TV. Hey, hey. Hello. <laughs> How are, How are you? you? Feeling? I feel great. I feel hungry. Hungry? <laughs> well, you're in the right place. Mi casa es su casa. So Thank welcome you. to my home. Thank you so much. Yes. And this we, is amazing. This is amazing. And we've got uh, an amazing menu planned Do for we? you today. Yeah. All right. We're going to keep it healthy but decadent. Oh, now those two words don't go together. They don't go together. <laughs> and look, we're doing mac and cheese. So look, oh, let's keep it real. Okay, good. I'll show you a couple of different ways that you can inspire some health uh, into it. But, okay. You know, we, we just love good food. Well, when I hear the word mac and cheese, I think Christmas, I think mama, yeah. and I think cholesterol. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to have to help me. <laughs> well, that last one, that last like, oh one. Lord, I don't know if I can combat that you're one. You're going to have to help me think differently um about mac and cheese and i know one of the things about you my when my production team sat down at the table mm -hmm. they went on and on about you've got to meet this guy you've got to meet this oh guy because gosh. i try to be a health nut yep. uh, five out of seven days sometimes i'll make it yep. but they said to me you've got to meet this gentleman he's lost over 150 pounds yes. and his world is food yes so can we talk about that Wait yes that yes you know uh the journey for me uh like many that embark on weight loss journey, mm -hmm. um, was a very difficult one, right? Yeah. Um, I learned at a very young age that I had an addiction to food. Really? Um, you know, at that time, I can't say I knew it was called an addiction, mm -hmm. but there was something deeply rooted in me that had me going to the cupboards in the refrigerator over and over and over again. Ah. And I wasn't necessarily hungry. Not for food. Not for food, mm -hmm. but, you know, but... Um, it, it it took a hold on my life. It took a hold on my life, and uh, that addiction carried with me through high school. It carried with me through college, wow. and I saw at my highest weight, uh, I was over three hundred and sixty pounds. Three sixty. Three sixty. I was now, eating everything that wasn't nailed down. Oh my goodness. Everything. So. Here you're in high school, you're in college. Yep. Those are the the years that, first of all, you, you're insecure anyway. Just you're insecure. You're trying to find a date. Yes. You got prom and you're all these. You're becoming who you are. You are during those times. Mm -hmm. So what was going on in your emotional self while you were in high school and college uh, at this weight? Yes. And And you knew you're. I'm out of control here. Th that's a that's a really good question. Um, it led to a lot. It led to depression, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it led to self hatred. Mm. Um, it led to me kind of putting on a bigger face or facade. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you want people to laugh and joke with yes. you. Yes, you yes. know, and 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 you not always be the butt of the joke. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to have this bigger than life personality. Yeah, to kind of you know. Mask the fact that absolutely. you're overweight. Absolutely. Um, so that was me. I struggled with it. You know, I had all, I had friends, you know, I, I made jokes and people yeah. laughed at me and, you know, but at the same time, I was still struggling mm -hmm. internally. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a pain that, that was very deep. Yeah. You know, it, it's interesting because I often tell people uh, when I would go to school, they would see one side of me, this jovial yes. character, right? Super happy. Super happy. Mm -hmm. Like, Judd will make you laugh, yes, you know? Yes, yes. And then when I got home, I would go into, I would call it like my sanctuary, right? Mm -hmm. And it was the basement. And I would just hoard food. Like, I would just sit there all by myself, not feeling like I had friends. Yeah. Or I had somebody to talk to. You know, so I was living this kind of double life indeed, in a sense. Indeed. And it was very interesting. Yeah. It's interesting because I study success, I study successful people, yep. and nobody becomes a success unless they get it here first. Yes. So somehow, with the devil working overtime on your low, 
decreasing your self-esteem, yeah. depression coming in. Somehow you had to have a moment. You had to have some kind of inspiration. Something happened that caused you to break out of that yeah. and break into the man we are today. We're going to take a quick break and I'm going to find out what happened. Yes. We'll be right back. <laughs> this is Inspire TV.